At this time, Ravon's teacher when he had been a Padawan, the blind female human Jedi Master Historian Kreia, went in search of Ravon, but discovered, instead, the Treas Academy of Ravon's secret Sith assassins on the old Sith planet Malachor V. She was converted to their ways and became Sith Lord Darth Treya, so-called Lord of Betrayal. Jedi Master Artis, hearing of seemingly random assassinations of some of the, by then fewer than 100, remaining Jedi, called the remainder of the Jedi Order to a Jedi Convocation, the Conclave on the Miraluku colony world of Qatar, hoping to use them as bait to lure out their would-be attacker. Unknown to Master Artis, or to any of the other Jedi survivors, their own Master Historian Kreia had defected to form a Sith Triumvirate with two other Dark Lords of the Sith. Her wounded apprentices Darth Zion, the Lord of Pain, and Darth Nihilus, the Lord of Hunger. Darth Treya's Sith Triumvirate initiated the first Jedi Purge in an attempt to extinguish the Jedi from the galaxy. However, as with so many Sith, Darth Treya was betrayed by her disciples, who attacked her inside the core of the Treyon Academy on Malachor V, and permanently disabled Darth Treya from using the Force. Darth Treya was cast out of the Sith Triumvirate, by Darth's Zion and Nihilus in around 3,954 BBY, two years prior to the attack led by Nihilus against the Jedi Conclave on Qatar. However, Darth Treya did not die when Zion and Nihilus had stripped her of the Force and instead had returned to Republic space on the side of the Jedi with the so-called Jedi Exile, Mitra Surik, Ravon's one-time Padawan, just as Ravon was once Freya's Padawan himself, by her side. Treya, following her exile from the Sith Triumvirate, confronted her former apprentice Darth Sion once more, and lost her left hand in the conflict. Using this event and their peripheral relationship to one another via Ravon as bait, Treya lured Surik into believing them to have a force bond to one another, such that if one died, both would die. Following this, Treya betrayed Surik and the reformed Jedi enclave on Dantooine. Although bested by Sorek in a duel, Sorek forgave Darth Treya, who relented and became a Force Spirit when Sorek ordered the destruction of the planet Malachor V using her old friend Zabrak Bao de Ur's spherical remote to activate the Mass Shadow Generator, a device built by Bao Dur and operated by Sorek originally under Jedi Knight Ravon in the Mandalorian Wars that finally destroyed the planet Malachor V utterly. Darth Sion, the first of Darth Treya's two Dark Lord wounded apprentices, had been a Sith Marauder for the Sith Empire of fallen Jedi Exar Kun and Ulic Keldroma during the Great Sith War of 4000 to 3,996 BBY. He had found a way to cheat death by keeping his own rotten corpse alive by drawing power from his extreme physical pain, and using this manner survived many death blows dealt him during the Great Sith War, as well as the Jedi Civil War, when he allied with Darth Revan and Darth Malak. His final death came along with his final master, 
Darth Treya on the ruined world of Malachor V. Darth Sion, or Lord Pain, as he was also called, belonged to Darth Treya's Malachor V Treyas Academy and to her Sith Triumvirate. However, in some time around 3,954, BBY, Darth Sion, with his fellow Sith apprentice and triumvirate member Darth Nihilus, stripped their mutual master Darth Treya of her ability to use the Force and banished her from her own Sith triumvirate, and united most of the remaining disparate Sith forces following the end of the Jedi Civil War. Sion would grow compelled to hunt down Treya's next apprentice, the Jedi exile, Mitra Surik, and eventually grew obsessed by his love-hate feelings for her. He pursued Surik and her traveling companions, including his old master Treya, relentlessly, and cornering them at one point on the stern of the Republic vessel Harbinger cut off Treya's left hand in a lightsaber duel. Finally, however, he allowed Surik to escape him, following a prolonged duel in the Sith Academy ruins on Korriban. Sion returned to Malachor V and reassembled the Treyas Academy Sith assassins as his guards, awaiting the eventual return of Darth Treya whom then tricked him into serving her. Sion died his final death just before Malachor V was detonated by the mass shadow generator of Baudur. Darth Nihilus, the second of Darth Treya's wounded apprentices, was born a human male and lived during the era when Jedi Knight Ravon fought against Mandalore the Ultimate between the end of the First Great Sith War and the return of Darth Ravon from Sith space at the beginning of the Jedi Civil War. He had the misfortune of being nearly alone in surviving the original implosion of Malachor V by the mass shadow generator of Baudur, when then Jedi General Mitra Surik ordered it activated on the command of then Jedi Knight in Exile. Ravon. Darth Nihilus, also called Lord Hunger, grew so consumed from within by the dark side of the Force that his body withered to dust, yet his armor lived on without it. From his scavenged scrap heap flagship the Ravager, it was Darth Nihilus who decimated the surface of the Miraluka colony world Qatar in 3,952 BBY, where the remaining fewer than 100 Jedi were meeting in Master Artis's arranged conclave, using only his own appetite for power, killing everyone on the planet save one, Visas Mar, a Miraluka woman, Nihilus apprenticed as his shadow hand and tasked to assassinate the Jedi exile, Mitra Surik, who had then returned after decades lost in the unknown regions. Surik converted Mar to the Jedi path, and eventually Surik, Mar, and then Mandalorian leader Mandalore the Preserver confronted and defeated Nihilus aboard the bridge of his flagship, the Ravager, above the planet Telos, which he had just consumed. Then, the reformed Sith Empire swept over,